guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to The Wandering Reader. Today I'm going to be doing a review of When I Hit You by Mina Kandasamy. Kandasamy? Kandasamy. Um, this is by far my favourite on the shortlist so far and I will say right from the beginning that I gave this five stars. And I've still got obviously two to read but I've kind of got the feeling that this one is going to be my favourite of the six. So this basically is a story about a woman who marries a university professor in India and it's about their abusive marriage. And uh, this didn't take me very long to read at all because I was so captivated by the starkness of what was going on and that kind of sounds a little bit strange but Mina Kandasamy, Kandasamy, I can't say her name properly, Mina Kandasamy, she was just so brutally honest about what abusive relationships entailed and this particular protagonist in here and what she went through in this marriage and how slowly over time she was kind of swept up in this abuse and and how it got worse over time and then kind of yeah what happened to her as a result of it it was it was quite hard to read at times but I felt myself compelled to read it I just had to find out what happened to her and exactly what these sort of situations were like. There were some quite graphic scenes in here, but not like graphic in a really sort of like in your face way. It was just, she just has a wonderful way with words. She just managed to capture these situations so well. Yeah, I just, I found it brilliant. It was just absolutely brilliant fascinating to read about a relationship of that sort of sense um, and I don't really know whether this is based on her own experience or not the, uh, the thing that's making me think that is in the back there's a little section after the book finishes and it's called a list of people you should give this book to with some reasons why um, by Deeper D, originally published as a review in The Wire, and then it goes on to list seven different reasons, and it talks about Mina in these reasons, as if this happened to her, and this is her personal experience. And the main character in this, the woman in this, she is a writer, and um, one of the dynamics of the book is her kind of not having the freedom to express herself, but at the same time, expressing herself like fighting against that that sense of unjust yeah imprisonment like that sort of thing um and I thought that was a really really good dynamic as well and yeah so that kind of gave me the sense that this also might be Mina in here as well and yeah just utterly brilliant again so readable I read it in two or three days couldn't put it down if i didn't have to go to work I would have read it a lot quicker than that and I thought it was absolutely brilliant and I gave it five stars and I would just you need to read it if you haven't read it please read it it's not one that I'd heard of before the shortlist or the long list was announced but it's one of those moments where you get to read something that you never would have done before and it's just another reminder as to why I read shortlists like this because I come across books that I won't have heard of before that I would never have picked up and I have such great experiences with them so yeah really really urge you to pick it up if you haven't done already so there you go guys that was my review of When I Hit You by Mina Kandasamy I'd love to have a chat with you in the comments below have you read this and what did you think of it thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye